I'm in the backyard and we've got some bad road noise uh, on the other side of the fence, but my bees swarm today. I was having lunch and I was gonna come out here just to catch some sun before getting back to work. And I saw my bees swarming. Um, They're moving to a new home. And for those of you that don't know, when bees swarm, it's the natural way that they divide and reproduce. So basically what happens is the queen bee will go on a mating flight and she will mate with the drones and she'll lay queen cells. And once those queens hatch, the, the elder queen, as I like to call her, she will take off with some of the hive. Um, can be half the hive, maybe less. Um, and it is possible to get more than one swarm in a season if she lays multiple queen eggs. But um, our, our queen just took off and they are a pretty substantial group. Um, our hive is a very, very healthy hive. They swarmed three times last year, and this is our first swarm of the season. And they landed in our apple tree. So I'm hoping uh, I'll be able to share some more of this process with you. Last year we collected the swarm ourselves and set up a new hive in our front yard. So we have two on property, but we're done collecting bees for now. Um, we don't have any other hives to put them in currently, so I reached out to the Urban Beekeeping Network here in Portland, and I have a gentleman on his way to collect this swarm today and put them in a nice new home. And the reason why I like to reach out to people to collect the swarms is one, some people can get scared if they see a swarm in their yard or on their property and they might um, kill them, which is terrible and tragic, um, but it's possible. Um, another reason is because the swarms might choose a home that just is not right for them. Maybe they'll go into somebody's house or they've been in trash cans, all sorts of random places. Um, if you do a little search, you can find videos of bees in all the places they shouldn't be. So um, by having somebody come collect the swarm, I know they're gonna go into a hive and hopefully they're gonna be well taken care of. So yeah. I'm very excited. I'm a proud bee mom. <laughs> Okay, so we've concluded that the only way to get all the bees out of the tree and into the hive is by cutting one of the branches. So I just geared up in the minimal gear that I have and I'm going to go cut a branch. Uh, hopefully I don't get stung. We'll see how it goes though. Wish me luck. Thank <laughs> you. 
So now we just wait and see if they all kind of cluster into the hive. Um, as it gets closer to sunset, they should all start to settle and then he'll be able to take them away. So looks like the majority of them are going into the new hive, which is really exciting that they're gonna get a new home. Also, I can't believe I got a bucket of bees dumped on my face. <laughs> so crazy. Well, goodbye bees. Yep. Some stragglers. 